Hey, what up everybody? I'm Cynical. And this is Gems of War on PS4. It's Monday, May 25th. Let's see what we can get into on the weekly preview for Gems of War. Uh, looks like we have, uh, we'll see. Tentacle Party. Ooh, Nether Hound. New rare troop. Tentacle Party, huh? Week of Karakoth. All Karakoth troops gain 10% to skills. Week of Daemons. All Daemons gain 10% to their skills. And bonus souls. Use the Nether Hound in PvP and Explore to gain 40 souls. So we'll be going over the Soul Forge, the event keys, um, but the Glory Troop, um, the events for this week, any new troops and whatnot. And uh, I'll probably do a team to get you started on the event for today so stay tuned for all of that and please like hit a like because it really really helps it gets my it suggests my videos out to other people that haven't discovered me yet you know so to put the put the video on the little suggest bar on the side as the more likes you guys give it the more chance I have of popping up on the sidebar there for newer people so helps me out a lot at least that's the way I think it works Alright, I'm not going to take my mail or anything. Let's just get started. Of course, with the Soul Forge, first of all. Let's see what we got in here this week. Go straight to troops, straight to the mythics. And we have Shabana Vespera. Look, I got one right, guys. Awesome. I need that one, too. I'm going to have to get that this week. Let's see if I can get it. 2,424. I got to take all my um, guild tasks mail and everything so hopefully that'll get me up to like 3k and then I'll yeah I can probably get it this week I would say 1600 I think I'll be able to get that but we'll see just check in on Sunday see if I got it or not because I'm going to try to get Shabana Vespera it's the last mythic I need really that's good so pretty cool I don't know why I did that so this is a decent mythic actually um Give 14 to a random skill on an ally. Create 9 gems of their mana color, then repeat 2 more times for random allies. So it makes a lot of gems. Um, I've never used it before, so I can't tell you too much about it. I just know it's one of the better mythics, uh, and it's pretty new. Uh, it also has a 30% chance to summon a gen when matching 4 or more gems. So that's cool. If you lose the first troop, then every time you match 4 or more gems, you have a 30% chance to summon something in that spot so I've heard it's decent and I need it so I'm gonna try to get it this week Queen of Sin um, deal 39 true damage to the first two enemies summon wrath or lust then bless all daemon allies game one magic when ally casts a spell reduce damage from spells by 25% enemies lose four from a random skill point when an ally casts a spell Uh, not the best. Wrath is good, but um, yeah, you don't. You could just put Wrath on your team if you want Wrath. And uh, 39 true damage to two first enemies, not great. So not a good mythic. Not one you should craft unless it's the last one you need. Type stuff. Vash Dagon. I don't have this either. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to decide this week, huh? Is this one better or is Shabana Vespera better? I think I've heard more about Shabana Vespera than Vash Dagon. Devour an ally, then summon a daemon if the ally is devoured. Deal 50 true scatter damage boosted by my life. Reduce damage from spells by 25%. Immune to all status effects, devour and mana burn. Curse a random enemy when matching brown. This is pretty um, situational. Like I said, I've never used it before with the uh, Shabana Vespera. So, I can't tell you that much about it but I know it's not a top 10 mythic so I think Shabana Vespera gets the edge here if you want to craft something this week Queen of Sins last, Bash Dagon let's see what else we got though, Yasmin's Chosen I use this sometimes uh, deal 55 scatter damage boosted by entangled enemies create 10 green gems uh, and the cool thing about it is wild vines entangle a random enemy when matching green so I do use this. I don't think it's a top 10 mythic, but it might be like a top 20. It's not used like to do m crazy damage or anything. It's pretty much used for that wild vines. Entangle a random 
random enemy when matching green. You get everybody tangled up. And it creates 10 green gems, which is decent. 10 is like the borderline, you know. If you do less than 10, it's not that amazing. If you do more than 10, it's pretty good. And uh, 10, it does exactly kind of like Flame of Fire does 10 red. This does 10 green, so that's what you can expect. Uh, and it works out a lot of the time. Deal 55 scattered damage boosted by entangled enemies. If you get, um, if you cast that, and uh, you get an extra turn off the 10 green gems, and then you cast it again, and then you get an extra turn off the 10 green gems, and then you cast it again, there's just it fills the whole screen up with green. So, but it's not something you're gonna use except for for wild vines probably. And um, there's other things you can use like Silva Namora and. I don't know. There's other things you can use. It's not super important, but it's not terrible either. It's one of those mid-range mythics. So if you have all these other ones, it wouldn't be terrible. But uh, also, you should, if you don't have High King Iron Gut and, and Ferris Ra and Infernus and Tina and all those, I wouldn't craft it. But uh, if you have all those and you also have Shabana Vespera, uh, maybe. But there's still probably a few more I'd recommend before Yasmin's chosen. It's a middle of the pack. Uh, if there's, um, I think there's like 60-something mythics now, so it's like the 30th mythic you would craft or something. Alright, let's look at the legendaries. We have Sir Quentin Hadley. Convert purple gems to yellow and green gems to skulls. Deal 28 damage to two random en enemies. Doesn't sound bad. But we don't. Oh, all out, all night allies start the battle fifty percent mana. Huh? I think he's actually decent. I've seen people using him before. Anything where you convert to another color and you convert to skulls is always decent. And then starting with fifty percent mana is decent. So decent legendary, but we don't we don't craft mythics around here. Only the Dragon Soul, Yao Gui, um and maybe one or two others. There's like five maybe that you would craft, and we've discussed that before, and I already forget uh, the other three, but mostly the Dragon Soul and Yao Gui are the easy ones uh, to, to recommend. Captain Macau, deal 25 damage to an enemy. If they are submerged, kill them, otherwise submerge them. Nothing special. 50% mana at all rogue allies when battle begins, if you need that for some reason, maybe. Hindala is a decent giant. Deal 40 splash damage to an enemy and freeze an all affected enemy. Summon a giant troop. I can't read this morning. Uh, the summon a giant troop is the good part. All giant allies gain 2 life and magic in 4 or 5 gym matches. Decent because it's pretty a, a safe troop and you can put it with a bunch of other giants and then summon in a giant if you lose one. So it's used. It's definitely used but still. You'd rather save up those diamonds for a mythic. An Autumnal Imp, we always have an Imp in here pretty much, uh, it's Autumn Imp right now, I don't know why, because it's spring, but, um, deal 40, scatter damage, and destroy 10 gems, if an enemy dies, gain 8 magic. So I think the best Imp is Spring Imp, but this might be the second best Imp, but none of them are really good, so, I mean, Spring Imp is okay. All the Imps, you know, not really, it's kind of like the, um, it's kind of like the apocalypse troops. There's like one okay one, and then the rest are kind of crappy. That's kind of how the uh, imps are. There's like one okay imp, and the rest are kind of crappy, you know? So that's what we got this week in the Soul Forge. If you can, if you already have the top five, six mythics, get Shabana Vespera, maybe. Um, but you would already have to have, you know, Ferris Ra, High King Iron Gut, Infernus, Tina, the Possessed King, uh, Ketris. Like, there's a bunch in, ahead of it, so, you know. Don't, like, craft it without thinking first. It's not that good. Maybe, uh, top 20, top 15. I'm, I'm hesitating to say a top 10, but like I said, I, I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you exactly where it falls. Over here we have... Staff of Other Worlds we're going to get from the events, so don't do that. Uh, this is all stuff that's always here. Doomed Cauldron. If you don't have that, maybe, but it isn't one that's used. Give all allies 29 life, plus 2 per tempering level. Give all other allies 5 mana. If the enemy has a doom, give them 4 more for each purple enemy. Give them 2 magic to all allies. Um, yeah. 
Not one that is used, but if you missed it, maybe 900 diamonds. And then um, this one's the one that is available this week. The Grasping Grimoire. Grasping Grimoire. Deal 40 damage to an enemy boosted by Mystic Allies. Then create a mix of six yellow and purple gems for each Mystic Ally. It's one of those. Uh, not important. Not important, not important, not important, not important. So don't be crafting these unless you have Shabana Vespera. And, um, and probably Yasmin's Chosen. And probably all the mythics over there and all the legendaries like it's not it's not important i guess if you had only 300 diamonds and you don't have this yet and you're just dying to craft something maybe do the grasping grimoire just to you know to collect and just in case for some reason they uh change it or it becomes crazy meta just because something some troop is perfect for its its spell i don't know all right, so that is the Soul Forge. Shabana Vespera was the best thing in there. Uh, let's take a look at the shop. It's gonna freeze, so we're gonna have to take a pause. So let's let's see if it does, just for you know, just to see. Yep, it froze. Just wanted to let you know it froze. So I'll be back in one second. And you won't even know I was gone. Wow! Not only did it uh, freeze like it always does, it also crashed my PS4. And, um, I thought I was going to lose the first uh, 11 minutes of this video, but uh, it actually saved it and then crashed, so that's good. Alright, let's see what we got in here. We just want the glory troop. We don't want any of this other stuff. Sometimes I take a peek at, like, the, uh, I don't, none of the real money stuff, but, like, the, not this stuff either, but there's offers for real gems, but, um, spoils of war always do this. I don't say it every single time, but... This is a really good conversion for your glory. 1800 glory for 10 event keys. Really good. Okay. And then we need to find the glory troop. It's harder and harder to find every week. Somebody's going to say it's easy. It's right there. Weekly event. Okay, yeah. Front of the weekly event. <clears throat> Nether Hound. Let's get one of these. And another thing I always forget to say is you can get as many of these as you want. Arcane Lava Trace Stones. Red and brown. Any troops you have that are red and brown that um, you need to fully trait, you can get as many as you want right now. Um, it costs 300 glory per lava, arcane lava trait stone, which is pretty good too. So the best things to do with your glory besides opening glory chests, <coughs> excuse me, is just saving them, saving your glory up, and then using it on trait stones that you need. And um, the um, Spoils of War. So, we got one of these. What does it do? Let's get another one so I can see. Or you get two of them, actually. Deal 27 damage to the first enemy, and hunters mark them. Create 8 to 12 purple gems. Uh, not bad if it does 12 purple. And the hunters mark. Start battles with 50% mana, fast. So it's not super duper terrible for once. But uh, I don't know if we'll be using it, but not super terrible. Because if it creates 12 purple, and it starts with 50% mana, and it hunters marks, and it deals 27 damage to the first enemy, it could probably fit in with something. But yeah, not amazing. Okay, what next? Let's see what troops we can get in uh, in the chest, the, the, the event chest this week. Karakoth troops is what you can get. So go here, go to Karakoth. If I can find it. Karakoth starts with a K. Right there. Do all. Because I don't know if I have them or don't have them. Sort by base rarity. Always forget that. And I don't have Vashdag on. So I could go for that today. You want to see me go for it? I think I will. Eldritch Guardian will get from the event. <clears throat> and uh, is that the only mythic from here? Is uh, Vashdag on? That's cool. And he's like a mid-tier mythic, uh, nothing special, so don't... I wouldn't waste all of your event keys on it, but I might do it with mine because I only need, a f like, five mythics now. Probably like ten, but I always underestimate. But nothing else here really worth anything. Yeah, there's nothing else in this. Nothing else. Dark Troll, double the number of purple on the board, then create three purple gems. Not terrible. 
if you need purple, but that's about it. And Vash they're gone. So let's go open them just for... Well, I'd have to get all my... Let's get my mail first if we're going to do that. So I might get some in here. 3,000 shards. We need those. We're going to try to do Shabana Vespera this week. 415 gems. 30 event keys. 150 diamonds. So less than I thought, but uh, we'll still get there. I'm going to probably have to buy every offer this week, but... Mythics are one thing that I still need, so it's worth it. Before, I don't need anything, and then my resources just are useless. Alright, so, chests, event keys. We have 102. You think we can get it? Probably not. We'll do 50 at a time. Nope. And... Nope. Of course not. But, you gotta save up way more than that if you're going for Mythics off Event Keys. You really gotta save up at least, like, 2,000 Event Keys or something, not 200, or whatever I had, 100. That's just terrible. But anyway, we tried. That's what they're there for. For me. Not for you. For you, you'd want to just save them for, like, good Mythics, not just any random Mythic you don't have. Alright, what else do we got going on this week? So we did, um, the Soul Forge. Which was uh, Shabana Vespera was the best thing in there. We did uh, the Glory Troop. We did the Event Keys. Um, I don't really want to do the Arcane Traits down. I guess I could though. I, we would do like, what is it? Uh, brown and red. We'll be able to see here. So, you could probably fully trait this with the, the stones. <clears throat> I don't know exactly. Sorry for the coughing. Netherhound, of course, because that's the troop you get. Um, and probably some other random red and brown troops, but I don't know exactly all of them, so that's just something I'll have to start doing in the future, because I don't know all of them to tell you. Alright, so let's go over the events now. This week we have... Raids... So we're going to have to uh, buy up in this shop. I'm going to do just the first two because I'm trying not to be as crazy with my gems anymore since I don't need Zul'goth. Well, I do need the weapon. Never mind. I have to go all the way up to the freaking weapon. Which is the Staff of the Other Worlds. Deal 35 damage to an enemy boosted by Karakoth allies. Then create a mix of six purple and brown gems for each Karakoth ally. One of those. All right. Rewards. You get Major Orb of Chaos, two Orbs of Chaos, Orb of Chaos, three Celestials, 25 Diamonds, 30 Gems, four Event Keys, five Arcane Spirit Trade Stones, three Event Keys, Orb of Chaos, Gems, and Major Orb of Growth, Diamonds and Gems, Vault Key, and more uh, Gems here. So... Do we want to make a team for this? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try it, I guess. Let's see what we have here. We're restricted to Karakoth. And, um, let's do by base rarity just to see. Oh, man. I'm going to have to do Zul'goth. You guys are not going to be able to do Zul'goth. 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 Well, I just need to make one for you to get started this week, and then... I don't know. Is this all we get to use for this? This is stupid. So you would do some sort of Mang team. That's just what it is. Uh, let's get off this base rarity, though. Mang. With Titan. Back to this stuff, you know. There's only like 10 teams we use in the game, so... It's one of the 10 every time, you know. Equip Titan... Go back to troops, see what we can get that goes with this. We need the raid troop, which is this guy, right? Deal 29 damage to an enemy. If they are boss, deal 3 times 5 times based on my ascensions. Gain 12 life of an armor. If the enemy dies, double the effect. So, I need to upgrade him so I'm not looking like an idiot. Traits. Can we ascend? Nope. Uh, so I'll just leave him like that. I'm not really caring. Uh, whoops. So one of him at least. So that's always the formula. A mang and a, um... 
one of these, or you, and you can do two of them if you want. I'd have to buy another one though to do two of them. All right, so now we need we have our damage pretty much. We need some mana generation, so uh, let's do base rarity again and go to the bottom and see if we got any down here. Uh, Golem, Acolyte, that's not bad. That's not bad either. I mean, we could try to use it. Plus, the Hunter's Mark would help. Just looking for some mana generation, guys. Five green gems, and then turn all green gems to purple. Okay, it's a dark troll. Okay. So, without using Zulgoth, which is what I'm probably going to use tomorrow, so... Could use the Nether Hound. But I'd have to upgrade it. Because it'll Hunter's Mark, which helps with Mang. It starts with 50% mana, which is good. So with the explosion and the enchant and everything, it'll get up pretty quick. Do that. Do this. And grab it for our team. All right, so what are we missing? We need to cover some more colors. We only got red, brown, blue, and purple. So we need yellow and green. Is there anything that's yellow? Gelatinous cube. Would have to be webbed or entangled. I don't really want to use any of those. So how about green then? We could do green slime. I don't know, do we want more um, damage right now? Could devour there. Two magic and five mana. See, that would help with like a, um, that would help with like a trickster shot, but not like a mang. So. Hmm. Maybe green slime. That's not bad. Now I can minus purple. You guys put your teams in the comments, okay? We need teams for people that, you know... Today we do, like, the beginner team, the early team that anybody can use. Tomorrow we'll do, like, a more meta Zulgoth type team, probably. So we're minusing what? Not... What am I doing? Not purple. Yellow. And looking for... Okay, we got two purple, one red. No, we need, like, two red or two brown. Or two blue. Uh, two brown, one purple is not terrible. Two blue, one green? No. Two blue, one brown. That looks okay. We need brown or blue more. I think we need... Let's do this. Okay, so, Sorrowful Banner... Mang with Titan, Eldritch Guardian, Nether Hound, Green Slime is what we got going on. So that is going to be my team. And it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to show you very much how it works because we're just doing the early battles. And like these super first easy ones, you could do almost anything to get through them. And there's probably faster teams to get through them. Um, like we can't even steal armor with this thing right now. Because, uh, there's no armor to steal yet. This guy, 38 damage to the first enemy. And then purple, and then we got this guy. So it's not super slow. And it'll get better as we go. You pretty much want to start using the team right here that I'm using. After you get through, like, uh, once you start getting to Zulgoth. You should probably use some other, like, um, 
all AOE type team to get through the first few battles to get to the rewards, you know what I mean? Just use a team that'll do quick AOE to burn these guys down. Because I'm not being able to show you very much. Just going against these things. And it's going pretty quick. Maybe we can get to Zul'goth real fast, at least. So you'll cast a Mang on, on something. So you can get your Skull damage up. Then you'll cast your, um... Your captain or whatever on Zulgoth, kill him in one shot. And then this guy will be Hunter's Marking and Making Purple, and this one will be Making Purple also. And gain 32 points to random skill. Uh, what should we do first here? Probably. I don't know how much purple. Seven. So let's grab the thing with the most armor. So we got seven here. That'll give us more attack. And then, uh. Hunter's Mark, the first guy, which is just going to kill him right now, but later on, it'll help out. Kill the, uh, Bow Raven. And... I don't know. We got red and blue here. Cast this. And we got Skulls. I'm just trying to get to Zul'goth real quick, and I don't know. It's probably going to take way too long. So anyway, this is the team. I mean, I'll explain it one more time. But most of the time, you're going to cast a Mang on whatever has the most armor on their team. Um, if you start on the first enemy, it's, it works a little better because you're going to be hitting the first enemy with Skulls. You're going to be knocking that armor off of them. So that armor won't be available once you start hitting them with skulls. So you want to do it from the top down to get as much attack as you can off of uh, off of tearing their armor. And then with the uh, Eldritch Guardian, just cast it on Zul'goth. It'll one-shot for a lot of the time. And then after you're done with that, you're going to start casting like this thing. It's going to it's gonna um, create 8 to 12 purple. And... Uh, Hunter's marked the first enemy, which is good, and hopefully you already tore the armor off it, so it doesn't, like, do damage and take away the armor, and then you'll do more damage to the first enemy with your skulls, that you're also getting more attack for with Mang, and then this thing's just to do more, uh, mana generation, and it gives 32 points to random skill, probably just to itself, so that probably don't matter, but let's kill that guy, get some more purple, kill this guy, and kill that guy so for today this is the team you know what i mean and until i get to you tomorrow with the a new team you can use this and you can make it probably as far as you want today so there you go for that put some teams in the comments especially beginner teams for um you know people to use early and then also teams for tomorrow if you want and i'll shout you out if you come up with something that i use which sometimes i look sometimes i don't if i do Get your, if I do use your team, though, you know I'll shout you out. And let's just talk about the final, the rest of the events for the week, and then we're done. So, tomorrow we have Faction Assault for the Warrens. The next day we have the Slime Ball Pet for Wednesday. Thursday we have the Sorcerer Class Trial. Uh, not great, so don't waste too many gems on that unless it's like your last class and you're leveling it up. And then Friday we have uh, Raids, I think, or um, Invasion. So, Invasion on Friday. Friday through Sunday, the guild it'll be a guild event. So, Faction Assault is the Warrens. Let's see what I use for the Warrens. Probably nothing good, because I'm not leveling... I'm not doing it yet, so I don't even know. Oh, you can just use Key Team if you want. Use Key Team for uh, the Warrens. There's probably something else you could do. Green and yellow... You could do a Gob Truffle team. Um, you can't use a Forest Troll though, but you can use Mountain Crusher, uh, Gob Truffle, Gob Truffle, uh, Leprechaun. So you can also use that if you want, or you can just use your key team like this: Cedric Sparkle Sack, Egg Thief, uh, Skeleton Key, and Greed. So two teams for you for tomorrow. If you get up earlier than me and start doing the faction event that is Tuesday, 
Uh, if you want to get an early jump on it, do your Gob Truffle team, but use Mountain Crusher in first and Leprechaun in last. And then, um, or you can use just use your key team. Key team should be able to go as far as you want to go. So, Cedric Sparkle Sack, Egg Thief, Skeleton Key, and Greed. So, that's all I got for this week, guys. Um, good luck. Hopefully, you get everything you want to get. Hopefully, you uh, get to craft that mythic if you want to craft it. Hopefully, you get all the way through all the events with your guild with by yourself. And um, get some Nisha medals. Uh, get everything you want to get. Just get it. Do your Gems of War cardio. And like, share, subscribe, please. Remember, like. It's free. Don't forget to do it. Uh, it, it suggests my video to people that have never watched my stuff before, and that really helps a lot. Um, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, it's going down. That number, that 65%, I think is down to like 63 now. So that's cool. We almost got the UK up to 10%. It might be there now. I'm not sure. But so many countries watch this channel. I really appreciate all of you. And hopefully you can understand me, because I know I s say some weird stuff sometimes, so maybe the translator won't uh, pick it up. But I don't know. Anyway. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.